Welcome back once again to What Gear Reviews and we're nearly at 20,000 subscribers and that to me is well. But anyway, I want to say a big thank you to Humax for sending me this. This is the FreeSat Humax HB 1100S. This is a satellite receiving box. You don't need a subscription for it. It's FreeSat, meaning it's free to watch. But it does cost some money, so check out the link in the description below to see how much this thing currently costs. But anyway, what I'm going to do really, really quickly today is unbox this thing, see what it comes with. I'm going to hook it up to my satellite dish and see what the interface is like and what kind of features it has. Right now I'm using Sky, I'm really happy with it. But if I could save some money with one of these, it could be a good investment. So stay tuned and this is for all of you out there who don't have smart TVs. If you've got your old plasma, you don't want to upgrade it, you might want some smart features. Yes, you could go down the Google Chromecast option or you could go for a Fire Stick from Amazon. But this receives satellite signals and it has all of those smart features as well. So this could be a better option. I'm going to test it out. I'll let you guys know what I think at the end of the video. Anyway, let's see what it comes with quickly and then I'll set it up and look at the interface. Let's go. Okay, so this is the box. As you can see on the front here, 200 channels, rollback TV. That's quite interesting because basically it connects to all of these services you see here and it allows you to sort of roll back in time and look at programs that were on. Uh, earlier in the week and stuff like that which is really cool you got the FreeSat app on your phone as well so I'll have to take a quick look at that but let's open this thing up tape shut so once again I want to say a big thank you to Humax for hooking this up for me never had one of these before Okay, you got the quick start guide. I'll have to have a little look at that about plugging in the satellite cable. They're advertising some other stuff like their camera. I might actually get to look at one of those a bit later on. Two year warranty on this as well, really nice. And the instructions here on what the ports do, etc., etc. Okay, you get an ethernet cable to connect it to your internet. They even give you a HDMI cable, which is nice. Batteries for the remote control. The power supply for the unit itself and the control as well. It's quite a nice control there actually. Really shiny, nice bit of chrome on it, looks nice. I'll put the batteries in that. And here is the actual Humax box itself. It's a lot smaller than the Sky box. Really glossy finish on it. Yeah, it's really, really quite compact. It's gonna make a lot of space uh, on my shelf if I replace my Sky box with this. On the back here, hopefully you guys can see this. That's where the satellite cable goes. You've got a HDMI video uh, cable type thing there. It says HDMI, but the HDMI is actually over here. You've got the audio cables there. You've got an optical in, sorry, an optical out, and an ethernet in, and you've got a USB and a power supply there. On the top, you've got the power button here, which looks like it'll probably illuminate. But that is the unboxing done quickly. I'm gonna set it up now and I'll set the camera up so you can see my TV and see what the interface is like. You'll be seeing me using it for the first time. So you should get a good idea of how user-friendly this thing is. I really don't know. I'm gonna have a look. It's gonna be my first impressions. But um, yeah, let's check it out. And let's start watching FreeSet. So that was pretty easy to set up, I must say. And there we go, Toy Story's on. So the remote control here, um, if we have a little look at it. So hopefully you can see the remote control now. We've got the TV guide here. Let's open that up. You can see it puts the picture up into the top right corner. It's just receiving the data, but then you've got all of your TV channels, HD channels and stuff like this. It's pretty fast. I've been using um, Android uh, UView and it's pretty laggy and this is actually much, much quicker not bad at all and on this one you can also scroll back so if I go to earlier on let's say channel 5 HD um, you can look at these shows and watch them on demand at any point not every channel can do this I think BBC can do it let's go early on BBC and you can see there if I wanted to watch the breakfast show from 6 a.m. this morning when I was fast asleep 
I could do that and that's going via the internet. Okay. Anyway, you've got a button here which is the home button. Let's see what that does. That brings up a quick guide on the left side there. You've got on demand, you've got showcase. Let's have a look at that. Not currently available. Maybe I have to do some settings and select what kind of shows I want to have in the showcase. On demand, let's have a look. Now this is really cool. If you haven't got a smart TV, like this TV you're watching right now actually, that's a plasma TV and I just refuse to get rid of it because when it comes to gaming, the response on this TV is much faster than any LED I've been using lately. Um, but look, you've got stuff like YouTube, so you can check out what gear reviews on YouTube. Um, you've got a bunch of other players and you've also got Netflix on there, um, which is really, really cool. Nice, nice stuff going on here. Um, Curzon, you can actually rent movies. Um, I think like movies that are even in the cinema on that. All the animations and stuff when you sort of go through the menus is really cool. Let's have a look. No recordings at the moment. I'm going to try and record this and see what it says. So I think in order to record with this box, you need to plug a hard drive or a USB stick into the back of it. It doesn't have any local storage. Okay. So I apologize for the lighting in here. This is one of the few videos where I haven't actually set up the lights to record. It's literally, uh, it's, it's the afternoon. The sun's just starting to go down. But anyway, uh, you can see here, power button. You've got recordings. If you plug in a hard drive, you can record from the TV. You've got the record button there. Um, you've got the text, so if you want on screen, uh, subtitle, stuff like that. You've got this button here, which is the home button, which brings up that snap menu on the side, information button, your usual channel buttons, and that's pretty much it. You've also got a back button, which is really handy when you're in the menus. If you want to go back, it's annoying sometimes trying to find the button to do it or having to find the on screen button. So you just hit back and it goes back. So if you hit search, it brings up a keyboard on screen so you can key in whatever it is you're looking for. So all in all, it's a pretty good remote control. And yeah, there's nothing really missing on there. There's nothing really bad about it. It's a good remote and it works well. The interface is really snappy, really happy with it. I guess the last thing to do now is to check out the application. Right, okay, so now I've paired the TV with the smartphone. I had to get a code from the Freesat box settings menu. But you can see here now you've got the TV guide on the phone. You've got all of the on-demand apps here. So if I wanted to go to YouTube, if I hit YouTube, launch it on the TV, and there we go, it launches YouTube super quick. I'm just gonna go up to the search menu, hit OK. And then we get the on-screen keyboard. We don't actually have a keyboard on the phone, which is uh, a little annoying, but yeah. So you can navigate the whole menu from the app here. If I close this little control window down, go back to the home screen. So you've got the showcase there, stuff they want you to watch. You've got your TV guide here. If I go into the TV guide, um, you can see all of the channels that we have and you can scroll back and forwards and it will send the command to the box so you can watch whatever you want. Really, really useful. If you lose your remote control down the side of your sofa, this would definitely come in handy. So here, if you've got your box hooked up to a hard drive or a USB stick that's big enough to record videos, you'll have a list of all your recorded videos here, which is really cool. Um, what does this button do? Brings up the remote. The little three buttons up here, bring up your settings for the app. And if we go to My TV, yeah, that's just recordings again. Okay, so that's the app, quite happy with that. Um, works really, really well. It's a backup for your remote control. If you lose your remote control, you can use your app. You can have up to eight users from what I can see on the interface, and you can have different logins. So uh, technically, you could drive your family crazy by changing the channel from any room in your house, as long as you're on your Wi-Fi. So anyway, my first impressions of the Humax HB1100S Free sat box are uh, very, very good. The picture quality is really nice. The design is really small, compact. The control works really, really well. The app works really, really well. 
the interface is not laggy at all and it's a breath of fresh air because I've been used to the Android UView uh, platform on my other TV in my house and it's just so laggy, it's really, really annoying and this works perfectly. So bear in mind, if you have a satellite dish hooked up to your house and you stop paying for Sky TV, you still got the satellite cables, you can plug it straight into the Freesat box and you will get a bunch of channels, really high quality, really high definition with the smart features as well. So if that's what you're looking for, you should definitely check this product out. And a big thank you to Humax once again for hooking me up this. You guys are legendary. And you guys watching this video are also legends and I really, really appreciate your support. And if you hit the subscribe button now, that means you're now one of the finest subscribers known to man. I'll see you in the next one. Don't be late.